Hello everyone and welcome back to Scalers YouTube channel. In today's session, we will learn about fuzzy logic in AI, its implementation and so much more. Before that, we request you to take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an insightful update from us. In our daily lives, we face situations where it's hard to make definite decisions in the form of a yes or a no because of the possible lack of information that hinders the process of reaching a reliable solution. Or maybe we get confused between different parameters. Let's take an example. Suppose someone asks you whether it will be cold tomorrow. You will probably not be sure to say yes or no. It is because there is lack of information about how weather will be the next day. Tricky, isn't it? Without further ado, let's quickly move to the agenda to understand what we will cover in today's session. Let's get started. We will follow a top to bottom approach and start with the basics. What is fuzzy logic? Implementation of fuzzy logic. Why fuzzy logic? Fuzzy logic systems architecture. Application of fuzzy logic. Advantages and disadvantages. With the agenda being clear, it's time to move towards the actual discussion. So let's begin with what exactly is fuzzy logic. The term fuzzy means something which is slightly unclear or vague. There are times when the computer may get confused and does not produce results which are either true or false. As per Boolean logic, the answer can be yes or no, which means it only takes value 1 or 0. However, in case of a fuzzy logic algorithm, it considers all possible uncertainties of a problem that may or may not be beside 0 and 1. The term fuzzy logic was introduced by Lotz Zadeh in 1965 as he felt that a traditional computer approach was not capable of handling vague data and unclear information. He pointed out that there are endless values between true and false that a computer can incorporate to produce accurate results. These values could be maybe yes, maybe not, can't say, very less, very much, little and so on. Let's understand this through the example we discussed in the beginning. Problem, is it cold outside? According to Boolean logic, the most reliable answers could be yes or no. The Boolean logic algorithm only produces precise results, represented by 0 and 1. However, in the case of fuzzy logic, the answers may have a wider range such as certainly yes, possibly yes, cannot say, certainly no, possibly no. In the case of Boolean logic, it does provide accurate reasoning. On the other hand, fuzzy logic provides an acceptable method of reasoning. The fuzzy logic algorithm takes the best possible decision based on the available data to solve a common problem. Moving on, let's see why the actual fuzzy logic and prefer fuzzy logic over Boolean logic. Unlike Boolean logic, the fuzzy logic algorithm is generally used for both commercial and practical purposes such as it controls consumers' products and even produces acceptable results, if not accurate, through the available set of information. Therefore, when you say certainly no or possibly yes, Though it indicates accurate answers like yes or no, it also gives a sense of confidence that it might be the solution or answer. One of the reasons why fuzzy logic is widely preferred is because if you are not sure whether the answer is yes or no, you can at least find a middle ground by saying certainly yes, certainly no or cannot say which helps deal with uncertainty smartly. Now with that, you have understood fuzzy logic in AI and it uses in everyday life. It's time to move on to further discussion and understand fuzzy logic architecture, an important topic. Without wasting time, let's study this topic. Fuzzy logic in AI architecture. When we talk about fuzzy logic in AI architecture, it may seem difficult. However, it's fairly easy. The architecture of fuzzy logic is classified into four major parts. They are rules, defuzzifier, intelligence, fuzzifier. Let's study each one of these in detail to understand the fuzzy logic architecture. Starting with the rules, which contains the most important rules, regulations and if-then condition presented by the experts to simplify the decision-making system or process. The developments and advancement in the technology have reduced the number of fuzzy rules and regulations in the rule base. Note, the set of rules are also known as the knowledge base. 
Now, the next thing on the list is fuzzy fire, also known as fuzzification. As fuzzification takes place at this time, the role of fuzzy fire is to convert the crisp set, a set of element with identical properties, into fuzzy sets so that the crisp inputs can be easily measured through sensors and passed into controller system for further actions. Further, the fuzzy input is divided into five major steps including large positive, medium positive, small, medium negative, large negative. We will talk about this later in the video. Before that, let's discuss the next step. An inference engine popularly called is intelligence solely responsible for determining if the input values are similar to the rules applied. Note, these rules are applied based on the input values received. Further, these rules act as the base to fire action from where we get our fuzzy output set. Note, the inference engine and the knowledge base or rules are together known as controller in the fuzzy logic system. From here, we move on to the last and most important step of the entire fuzzy logic in AI architecture, the defuzzifier. In simpler words, the defuzzifier is the inverse process of fuzzification. Defuzzification converts the fuzzy sets into a crisp value by mapping. There are several defuzzification techniques available and it's up to you whether you select the most suited one. This process is often termed complicated, especially where the weighted average method or centroid method is taken into consideration. To summarize the entire architecture of fuzzy logic in AI, firstly, we have a crisp input going into the fuzzy fire where fuzzification takes place. The crisp input is converted into fuzzy input set when then passes through the inference engine. We have fuzzy input set here. Now the fuzzy input set goes through defuzzification where we get a crisp output again. With this, we come to an end of fuzzy logic in AI architecture. Now it's time to move further and understand our next topic, the application of fuzzy logic. Application of fuzzy logic in AI Today, fuzzy logic in AI is used in nearly every industry. Some examples are automotive systems, environment control, domestic goods, etc. We believe fuzzy logics play a crucial role in supporting the economy and simplifying complex activities. Below, we have listed the most common applications of fuzzy logic based on different industries. Medicine Fuzzy logic is used to control arterial pressure when administrating anesthesia to patients. Doctors consider the fuzzy logic algorithm when diagnosing diabetes and prostate cancer. This is also commonly used in diagnostic support systems and diagnostic radiology. Transportation systems One of the major applications of fuzzy logic is it is used to handle underground train operations effectively. Another major application of fuzzy logic is it is used to control train schedules. Otherwise, it will be a mess. Stopping vehicles depends on various parameters such as high speed, wheel speed, acceleration, etc. Industry Fuzzy logic in AI is used to control water purification plants. It is used for quality assurance. Another major application of fuzzy logic is it is used to tackle sludge wastewater treatment. Defense Fuzzy logic is an essential technology to locate and target people underwater. It facilitates decision making. It recognizes images through thermal infrared. Naval control Recognizing and selecting optimum routes to reach the destination. Autopilots depend on the fuzzy logic algorithm. Underwater vehicles are identified and controlled through this technology. Now that you understand its applications, it's time to discuss the last point, the advantages and disadvantages of fuzzy logic in AI. Before learning more about the disadvantages, let's quickly look at the advantages of fuzzy logic. Here they are. Advantages of fuzzy logic in AI. The first and foremost advantage of fuzzy logic is its structure, which is exceptionally easy and understandable. So there is no need to scratch your head to understand what fuzzy logic is as there are just few possibilities that need your attention. Another major advantage is it is widely used for commercial purposes majorly because its structure and decision making power. It also helps control machines effectively while dealing with efficiently with uncertainties and complex issues in engineering as you can easily find the middle ground. 
Also, there is a need for precise or accurate data as you can easily modify or alter to improve a system's performance. Another major advantage is that fuzzy logic in AI is inexpensive compared to other technologies, helping you to reduce the overall system cost without much effort. Now that we have discussed the advantages of fuzzy logic, it's time to highlight the disadvantages of fuzzy logic. Like any other technology, fuzzy logic is also prone to disadvantages. One of the major disadvantages is that fuzzy logic is not always accurate due to lack of data or indefinite output. Due to inaccurate result at times, it is not accepted widely all the time, which becomes a point of concern. Also, there is no definitive approach to solve problems using fuzzy logic. Therefore, there are higher chances of different answers leading to confusion. A major drawback for fuzzy logic is that it is not recognized by machine learning and neural network type patterns. The users has to update the rules of the control system regularly. The system requires extensive validation and verification. With this, we come to an end of our discussion on fuzzy logic in AI. Apart from the definition and application, we also discuss major subheads. We hope that this video was useful to you. We would love to hear your views about fuzzy logic in AI in the comment section below. Also, if you have any question about our today's discussion, you can leave them in the comment section below and we would be more than happy to answer them to you. Before leaving, let's quickly summarize our discussion. We started our discussion today with a common fuzzy logic example and introduced fuzzy logic in AI. After studying fuzzy logic, we moved on to the most crucial topic, why do we need fuzzy logic and its architecture? After this, we looked at different applications of fuzzy logic in our daily lives. Later, we studied the major advantages and disadvantages of fuzzy logic. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button, share it with your friends and families and subscribe to our Scalar channel. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon to receive notifications every time we upload a video. We will see you next time with a fun informative video. See you next time.